Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again, and won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Well, My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. Well, you loan me the money, and I'll buy it for Worked you. Worked hard all my life. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. You well, want it now. it's that time. It is time, boys and girls, and young and old, and tall and short, and everybody. Everybody gets the same treatment here from the Coon Prairie Ramblers. We're going to drop the F-bomb on you. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready, Yeti? Mm. Here it comes. Here we go. <laughs> Well, oh my! <laughs> that was a low flying plane. I think yeah. it took the plane out too. They didn't have a whole lot of uh, hydrogen in that one. Mm, thankfully, we're still here. <laughs> it almost got us. I felt the wind of that airplane when it went over. Short and sweet, and to the point. Casey's got us a good yeah. what if today. Tell us about it, brother. What if? Mm. We've got a holiday coming up. We got Christmas coming mm-hmm. up, and so sometimes people buy another person. A lottery ticket. Oh my yeah. So what if somebody bought you a Powerball ticket Ooh. and you won the big one? I mean, you won oh. three hundred mm-hmm. million dollars. Three hundred. How much of that three hundred wow. million dollars would you give to the person that bought you the ticket to begin with? Oh my! Or would you even do it? Or would you just say thank you very much? Hmm. Mm. Well, you know what? Back when my older brother, my elder by nine years was alive we used to take a ride out in the country when i'd go visit him up in ohio and we'd always take a ride and he'd drive and one day he pulled up to a 7-eleven oh boy he, he pulled a dollar out of his pocket and he says mel would you go in there and buy me a lottery ticket i said doug you're just as close to that door as i am i said why don't you buy your own lottery ticket he said well i think god likes you better than he does me <laughs> oh i thought you had an in with god yeah. so you had better chances <laughs> I said, no, I said, uh, we'll we, we pray with God about the same amount of chance. Oh so anyway, but anyway, I was, I was thinking, you know, had I, I don't know, I think I did go buy the lottery ticket. Well, you didn't win a million dollars. No. But had I done it, and I think the thought ran through my mind while I was in there, now that you mentioned this if bomb, mm. that, you know, what, what if I do win? <laughs> you know, I says, is it Doug's money? Well, it was Doug's money that bought it. It was his ticket I was paying for. Yeah. In that situation, I think it would have been Doug's money. Mm. But had it been my dollar, I <laughs> I don't know. It, yeah. In that situation, I think it would have been Doug's money. And we'll never know now. But if, yeah. if you say you won that, mm. you uh, the person bought you the ticket and you played the Powerball or whatever they call it, mm-hmm. since I don't do it, and you won $300 million, would you feel obligated to – Give them half of that or some of it? Because you could say, well, wow, I'm, I'm rich now. I'm going to give them, thanks for that. I'm going to give you a million dollars. And who knows? It depends on who bought it for you. They may say, well, well, shouldn't I get at least half of that? Yeah. Uh, and then you, you make an instant enemy if you didn't give them half of yeah. it. Hey, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> you I'm going to give you the half that they're going to tax. How about that? <laughs> yeah. You can have that half. Because <laughs> you took a lump sum. That'd still be a chunk of change, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. A I mean, third of it, so you get like two hundred million or something. Yeah. Hey, I'd take a million. I'd be happy with a million. I could survive on yeah. that. I mean, I don't know about after the take the taxes. I don't know how much that would be. Yeah, well, I, I would at least give them the dollar back. Yeah, <laughs> at least the, <laughs> autograph it. Yeah. Autograph it. Thank you for having it laminated. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! I'd make it a brand new dollar bill. I'd make, I mean, my, I might even get them a two dollar bill. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll double. I'll double uh, your investment here. Hey, I wonder if anybody's won that lottery, and then all of a sudden the uh, the cashier lady gets real friendly with you. Now, they made a movie about that somewhere. Uh, I forget the name of friendly it. Friendly cashier lady? Well, you know the uh, store waitress, that sold the ticket to you, they know you know who it was but by the you know the numbers and all. They can oh, track yeah. it. And they get a certain, a fairly good-sized amount of money for doing that for selling it not the person uh, not the employee no i'm sure that boy don't do nothing yeah Yeah, they get a a attaboy or something wow well let's put the shoe on the other foot how would you feel if you bought that for somebody and they won it how would how would we feel oh you bought it and put it in a present yeah and they won the 300 men how would we feel about that now with the shoe on the other foot i wouldn't do it no, you already got. No, we're, we're yeah. committed. We we did it. We're we're, we're what if and anyhow, what if? Okay, uh, I'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they said, "Hey, Mel, 
hey, I'm so happy you gave me, gave me this Christmas present. I'm going to give you some back. And I'd be happy with whatever they gave me. <laughs> my luck, I would buy one for... I would buy I would buy two, one for me and one for them, and theirs would be the one that won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then what do you do? Hmm. <laughs> I say, hey, I accidentally gave you the wrong ticket. <laughs> nice tune and there. I want that I want that one back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. About yeah. three hundred million dollar mistake. I don't know. Hard to say. You'd make all kind of friends if you yeah. had this money. We what if yeah. this before? What if you won the lottery and what well, was the first thing you do? And we went through that uh, uh, on an episode uh, uh, several months back, I believe. But you would have this guilt, no matter what you gave them, unless you gave them all of it or most of it, as far as towards that person. Like, did I do the right thing? I was not entitled to the money, and here I'm living like a a king, and he's still paying rent on his double wide trailer down there, and got that old beat up car down there. No, you could pay his trailer. You have to do something for him. Yeah. Buy him a kitten or something. Yeah. <laughs> buy, buy him a, a box yeah. of handkerchiefs. There you go. You know, I used to go to the dog tracks or the horse tracks every now and then. No. And I'd always have somebody say, here, let me give you $20 and you go bet for me. Oh, they're and trusting say, what souls. You want it on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, well, they would say, what do you, I mean, I'd say, what do you want me to bet on? And they said, nothing, anything, just go bet on it. Oh, my bet, Make a bet for me. And I wouldn't do it because just, I don't want to say, oh, I bet he just won a bunch of money. Or what if you did? Well, you know, I thought we figured out here ago, I go over and I win a good amount of money. They're going to say, oh, he won it with my $20. That's exactly so I right. I never would do that. I, I don't said, blame you. No way. Wow. I'm not going to mm-hmm. do that. I said, now, if you'll give me exactly what you want, bet, I said, we'll go. We can roll with that. That'd be the only but, way. Uh, yeah. I said, but for you to depend on me to make a bet and then you, no, I said, that ain't going to work. I said, it's going to, it ain't going to work out. And I said, dude, if I go over there and I want a bunch of money, I said, you're going to think, oh, he got it from my money. Wow. So I never would do it. You know, I decided not to be a betting man way back when I was 20 years old, when I was a little baby boy. When he was an adult. Was- anyway, I worked at Thistle Downs up in Cleveland. I worked uh, at the place. Uh, thoroughbred uh, racetrack. The Den of Sin. And um, I was there, and you know, one of our horses was running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was coming around the track. Boogity boogity. On the fifth furlong. Then this, and then uh, this guy next to me had a big old handful of tickets. Hey, come on, come on, bro, come on. Run, come on. run, run, for us, I, run. I, I didn't bet, any, bet anything because I didn't have any money. <laughs> and oh, I didn't what? think a horse was going to win anyway. And a horse didn't win. But anyway, this guy was said he had a big old fist full of dollar or, or uh, tickets. tickets. And his horse didn't show. Didn't win. Didn't place. Didn't show. Mm. And all of a sudden, he just, I just, his, these tickets started drifting down from his hand and just kind of slowly floating in slow motion. Fluttering down. to the ground. Yeah. And he was saying, Oh, my money. Oh, my money. And he, was, said, he was surprised oh. by that? Oh. And I was standing there watching him and thinking, I was horrified. I'm thinking, good night. The guy spent all this money. That's all this money going down. I mean, it was a big fistful of tickets. That's a lesson right there to learn. Uh, yeah, I think I was about 20 years old, and I thought I I, I swore I, I said, man, I am never going to bid. Maybe. I have I have done a few. You know, I bought a. I may have bought one or two lottery tickets. Well, I don't know. Maybe I've only bought one. I don't know. Made a big impression on you. Yeah. I know the one, the dollar bill that my brother gave me. I went and bought a lottery ticket, but it was his dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Well, here, here's the thing: if you if you won three hundred million, no matter what you gave the other guy or the woman whoever gave bought you the ticket, would you give thirty million dollars to your church as a ten percent tithe? And would they allow it? Well, some of them won't allow it. Some of them mm-hmm. say they don't right, want it. Right. Right. Yeah, but they'll be mad at you anyway for getting it, and they'll be yeah. pre- preaching at you. Yeah, you're not supposed to be doing that. But, you know, um, we play it every now and then with the— uh, Your church? When it gets big? No, <laughs> oh, yeah. no with the uh, crew crew. We have taken up a oh, little collection. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you're confessing for us. And uh, we have— And we are poor, poor, poor. That's right. Never, we've won a few dollars, and they oh, just did? put it back into the school, oh. school trust, the school fund. I, I was w- reading about this real estate company, and they played every week faithfully. Didn't matter, you know, bigger, larger, whatever it was, or smaller. That's right. They played it, and one 
Wednesday, this one woman didn't go to work that day because she was sick or something. It happened. So they went and played the lotto without her being in it. Oh, they didn't put in for her? No, because some she wasn't there. Well, some friend. You're supposed to but, any everybody up. No, here's the deal, though. They did, uh, after it was over, they gave her a portion, her portion. Oh, mm. wow. I thought that was pretty nice. That's, that's wow. the right thing to yeah. do right there. Otherwise, oh, yeah. my goodness. Uh, you know, if it would have been hit or miss, like, you know, somebody, oh, they play it now and then. But if it was somebody that faithfully every week played it, yeah, yeah I would leave. I would include them in it. Hmm. My goodness. Yeah, that's like their lottery tithe. You had to tithe a, a dollar every week wow. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I worked at a probation office over in you know another county, and every week, man, they say, oh, hey, you put in a dollar for the lottery. I think, me, it's breaking me up. I, I can't even afford to go eat lunch, and you want me to play the dollar? The right. lottery? Sounds like a lot of money <laughs> to you hit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to really think about it or ask the person, how much would you like? Up to a half of it. <laughs> Tell no. them they can't have over the half. I'll give you up to a half. What would you like? And they may be gracious and say, oh, well, you don't owe me anything, or, or 10 million bucks will be enough or whatever. Yeah, and then be enough. That way, you, everybody's happy. Yeah. Right I would the, just think, let your conscience be your guide, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Theirs or yours? Yeah, I wouldn't want to trust somebody else's conscience. <laughs> Well, what else can you do, though? Yeah. I mean, really, I mean, it's up to them totally. Yeah, there's no hard and fast rules about it. Yeah, you can't say, well, there goes my friendship. Well, so long. <laughs> yeah. no. I'd, I'd rather <laughs> suck it up a little bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. You're right. That would put a price on the friendship mm -hmm. in a way if you looked at it that mm -hmm. way. It would cost, if it cost me a friendship of a good friend, I, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Give them what they want. And it would, it, well, it wouldn't be a good friend anyhow. I mean, if you had a good, you would do that. I don't think any one of the three of us would just no leave them high and dry. Get somebody, leave them behind. Yeah. I don't think there'd be any thought about that. Now, I'm not saying I'd give them half of it. I'll name <laughs> I'll name my next kid after you if I have another kid. Yeah, shoot, my. we are down no, to th thirty seconds already. If you can believe that. I can't believe that. I so, believe it. I believe it. Happy Veterans we Day, all you veterans out there. Thank you very much for your service. It's been a good mm. a good show. And, uh, Amen. We'll be back next time and have Casey live and in person in the studio. It's a lot easier when I'm there. That's right. If you want to come by for autographs, he'll be with us next week. So, What is our, our frequency, Brother Kenneth? Uh, 1480 AM on your radio dial. WFLN Arcadia News Radio.